lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. For convenience, I will be reviewing episodes 25 and 26 as if they were one episode. I've made my disdain for the show known a number of times. While I went into the show back when it first aired with a lot of hype, I ended up being let down multiple times. And that's how I felt going into season 4. There was a lot of promise, but I didn't feel like the execution worked for me. If you recall in my previous review, I said the finale would either end with a bang, a whimper, or some sad mix of the two. Surprisingly, I have to say Graduation Day was a really nice send-off to the show. It wasn't the best finale I've ever seen, and it certainly could have been better in spots, but it wasn't bad. It's bordering on good, in fact. Some of those elements I felt weren't up to snuff was probably the lack of threat the Superior Sinister Six represented. Yes, they brought Spidey to his knees, depowered him, and were a thorn in his side, but they not only were easily dispatched from the beginning, which I get was part of the plan, but they also got taken down as easily later in the finale. It was only Dr. Octopus who was any kind of threat. Now, I've never believed that Doc Ock was Peter's largest nemesis, but within this show, he certainly ended up being that, even if I don't completely buy that. In a way, this finale was about him as well. The story didn't really dig that deep into his character and motivations as much as I think it should have, but one could almost end up feeling sympathetic to Octavius by the end of this finale, and I think that was definitely a plus. Another thing going on for these two episodes was his exclusive focus on Spider-Man. It wasn't about Spidey and friends, or the Web Warriors, this was all about old Webhead, and this to me was a great way to end the series, even if it originally began as an animated Marvel team-up book in a sense. It allowed us to see how Spider-Man had grown since the start of the series, even getting meta on us as his team remark how early on he seemed to learn the power of teamwork weekly. And while this is still my second to least favorite Spider-Man, only to Dan Slott, I do like the show acknowledging his growth. And the big thing that stood out to me that maybe didn't work as well was Peter being down on himself in this episode when he mentions how he's failed. Uh, given the adventures and the villains he's faced in all four seasons, you'd think being taken by surprise by Doc Ock wouldn't get him so down. I mean, I get he lost his powers, so I guess it kind of makes a little sense. But it, didn't, it just didn't completely jive with me as I was watching it. Um, I think for such a painfully average and kind of mediocre Spider-Man cartoon, in my opinion, uh, this finale ended up being the ultimate end to the series. It showed off Spidey's growth, it put him through one last big trial before he could graduate, and it did all of that amazingly well. I'm kind of shocked they didn't just flub the entire finale and end with a sad little whimper. It almost makes me wish there had been one more season to see if they could keep the momentum going, but knowing the show, I doubt it. Still, at least the show ended on a positive note, so that it wasn't all bad. So, in the end, Ultimate Spider-Man finally wraps up. I'm weirdly almost sad to see it go, though I've never liked it as much as other Spider-Man media. Hopefully the team of writers who helmed the next series learn a thing or two from this show, but based on the promotionals I've seen, they probably aren't. But what do you think of the finale? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you want to see some other reviews, here's some on the screen now. Thanks for watching, take care.